You know, there's a firefight inside, guys. Did you, uh... Not notice that? They're having trolling, too? What the... How... Hello, my fellow gamers! Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to... Uh, Deadly Punisher 2. I keep wanting to say Yakuza. I have a problem. Um, last time... A lot happened. <laughs> to say the least. Uh... PJ's dead. Professor R's dead. We have no freaking clue what's going on. It was a goddess we're trying to say to create. That sounds familiar. And we think we figured out Patty's real dad, being uh, PJ. That's why PJ probably had uh, some questions about Mama, Mama Patty, Mama Patty Cake. Uh, today. I need to go to the sheriff department. Now, what drives me nuts, if you recall, the game makes you wait seven days or something like that to get for the Lord Hunger's quest. But it's not gonna be in here because it's not time. Zach, it appears to be. Let's come back. And they gave us a tutorial for it at a very weird time. So I don't quite get that. But I need to go rest. I, I need to rest and eat anyway, so it's not a big deal. So. Oh, I can talk. So, what do you think of him? Yes, I'm talking about him. I don't care about him again. We've had this up before. All right, so let me meet you guys back there. All right, and we're back. We have no idea. Oh, yeah, that was the other thing. We have no idea where Melvin is. Or what, what Kare Taga. Man, people are weird in this town. I love it. Did you find Melvin? Nope. I can't find either of them. Of uh, uh, either of them. Yeah. When I went home, it wasn't just my daddy who was missing. Mama was gone too. This never happened before. Zach, we need to stop Professor R's plan no matter what it takes. Relax, Patty. You don't need to worry about a thing. I'm sure that Melvin just stumbled across an important clue that's stolen his attention for now. And I'm sure he's protecting your mother while he's at it. Let's just leave the investigation to the local police and rest for today. I need to prepare a report for the HQ anyway. How about staying with me in my room until we find them? But... You don't need to worry. I can't make you any homemade food, but I've got a first-class chef and a first-class concierge at my disposal. Oh, <laughs> and a very affable bellboy. It's a lot of fun at that hotel. But... Okay, I guess. Thanks, Agent York. You're a lady, so you take the bed. Zack and I will be fine on the couch. Wait, uh, so, I, 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 you make me come here, realize that I can't come here because of timing, got the wait to the day, even though she called at, what was it, 22, 23, and then tell me that I have to go spend, you know, go away because it's not time yet. Then go, you know what, say I'm gonna go heal. Go take a nap. Take 10 hours. To go to the sheriff's department. To go back to the hotel. Like, I almost kick flip that lady in the face. Who's that? 
And she just kind of like hovered over here. Probably straight to my room. Oh no. And I did remember say that I will be doing side quests to see if I can get some more better items. We will be doing that eventually. It won't be this episode, it'll be next episode. Or next. I think when the next chapter hits. Good for her. Zach, the Clarkson family tree is nothing like we thought it was. We need to reorganize everything we've uncovered so far. She was so tired she fell right to sleep. Lucky her. Wish hey, Zach, I could do that. I'm in a very difficult spot right now. I feel like this case is heading in a direction that will be extremely unpleasant for her. I've never felt anything like this during any of our cases thus far. Could you talk to Zach in the other direction to let her sleep? Because probably going to wake her up. All right, to the bulletin board with us. Holy cow, that's a lot of stuff. First, let's go back to the beginning. Lise Clarkson's body was found hanging under a bridge over the bayou. Yep. In a deserted spot close to where the bayou meets the Mississippi. The one who fired the pistol at heaven surely had no idea what he would find there. Speaking of which, Zack, Chuck, the man who started this race we're running, what's his occupation? He's a crawfish farmer. That's right. He's a and after chasing Oops. a poacher's boat that crossed over into his farmland, he went up the bayou and was fortunate enough to find Lisa's body. I doubt it was a very pleasant experience for him. But if not for his discovery, Lisa's body might have started rotting out there. He's a difficult person to be sure, but I don't think he's a bad guy. I agree. Chuck said something peculiar. He claimed the Clarksons were a little better when their son was still around. I don't know exactly what he meant, but we ended up meeting the person he was talking about, didn't we? You know, there is the other missing Clarkson still. But was it Leonard who had intercourse with Galena? Or was it Leonard who had intercourse with the other person? The way I said that doesn't sound good. Um, freak. Sorry, that's that. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how I can say it to think about. I don't know how a lot of that works. I'm sorry. Professor R, did, was, did she have the intercourse with her sister, or was it the other sister? Or Galena or the other sister? I said that wrong, I'm sorry. Under very unexpected circumstances, Leonard Clarkson. He ran away from home, found his true self, then changed names. Sozak. Do you remember her name? Helena Doman. The townspeople call her Lena. She was also known as Professor R while she plotted against the Clarksons. She's the mother of the new drug known as Saint Rouge. She must have also had a group of followers who worshipped her fanatically. I can see it now. Lena sprinkling down the red powder corrupting every last pure and innocent girl in town. Lena mentioned her plan each time we met. She must have taken us for utter fool, Zack. She thought she was always one step ahead of us, and that we'd never see the full scope of her plan. Well, her plan isn't complete yet, and I know we can still stop it. That's why we need to learn all we can about her. Her alias was Professor R, and she was well-learned in the areas of medicine and fire dynamics. By the way, Zach, do you remember what weapon Lena used to murder PJ? So, that's not fair, because she choked him. Correct. She used a miniature bomb. To tell you the truth, she surprised me. That bomb was so well placed. It left hardly any damage on the building itself. Yeah. Yet still did amazing work on them. Lena should have used that brain of hers for something more productive than that saga of revenge. For example, reviving Lucare's economy from the industrial sector. Widen your perspective, and you'll see that Louisiana is an industrial treasure trove. With her intelligence and her charisma, I'm sure she would have found some amazing opportunities. Be a pharmaceutical and actually make productive drugs anyway. Such a tragedy. 
Zach, there's one more important matter we need to think about here. Okay. Galena Clarkson, who was murdered in jail. Her body was dismembered, then rearranged into a V-shape. Patty and Melvin claimed it was a severed roots killing, but that doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. And PJ Clarkson disapproved of it when I met him in the other world. He saw Galena's parts lined up and was overcome by an inexplicable fear. Tell me, who killed Galena? That's my answer. Unfortunately, we don't have the answer to this one yet. And it's too big a problem to solve with mere speculation. The answer to this question may lead to a major turning point for this case, and the final turning point for this story. You know it's true, Zack. I only hope it doesn't push us down an avenue we didn't plan on exploring. Right. Whole ten dollars. That's what I'm wondering. Hey, Zach. Do you remember PJ's last words? Lena had intercourse with her older sister. It wasn't Galena. Her own flesh and blood. This means there's still one more person out there who inherited PJ's blood. Ooh, that piano part. Oh, yes, the terrible animations back. Wait, the pastor? The pastor's daughter. We don't know who that is. Is the drummer a raven? Huh? Raven transitions? Oh, fucking poacher, now I gotcha. Caught you red handed. The freak is that? Get how I got an S rank for that, but I killed an alligator. Okay, I don't. I'm guessing that really large woman is the older sister, because I know back in olden times, usually overweight women were considered goddesses of fertility because it was actually a it looked more womanly. I can't think of the statues called right now, but um, I wonder if that has to do with the goddess of fertility, as well as maybe even the older sister being the goddess of fertility. It's a lot of weird things going on here, but we're going to end things off here because I know we're going to go visit Zack again here. So next time on Deadly Premonition 2, I think we start episode 3. I'll see you then.